Welcome on back, folks. It is Valorant Challengers, number one, brought to you by Nerd Street Gamers. And we're starting on map two between BBG and Sentinels in just a little bit. My name is Upmind, joined here by Sully. And map number one, a Sentinels came back into play, but BBG still pull up a fight. Yeah, they were very, very close behind them. It was 13 to 10. I mean, built by gamers. There was a lot of power in Be Yours, Killjoy. We mentioned that he is probably one of the best killjoys in north america and i feel like he really did prove it there i mean look back at this highlight reel there were so many insane plays shazam was popping off but someone that i feel like we didn't give enough love sick in particular looked fantastic throughout the entire game i mean he was putting the team on his back with his fault lines with his flashes i mean he was playing the support role and the fragging role at the same time sick the swiss army knife many people regard him as he was insane but here again is br popping off when built by gamers need it the most now moving into map Map number two. Our second map is Haven. It's Sentinel's map pick. We got the kind of the worry map out of the way. After a 13 to 5 loss against Serenity, Sentinels were refreshed. They looked ready to go on a scent against Built by Gamers. But now Haven is their map pick and they are looking to close it out in 2 0 fashion. But Built by Gamers, they're, they're no slumps when it comes to Haven. They as well have a very good track record. 8 and 2 in their last 10 games. And they have a very, very strong vengeance I can feel against Sentinels to bring us to a third. I mean, that's the hope for the BBG fans in a sense, purely because, again, with a 61% map win rate and honestly, just a, just a very good streak thus far. I mean, we were talking about BBG a whole lot more, I think, a week or two ago when we were talking about the complexity tournament, when we were talking about winter championships. Yeah. But this is a whole other ball game in a sense, although Sentinels is still it, it was still in that winter championships tournament. This is worth a whole lot more folks. If this hasn't been mentioned enough. The winner of this set not only moves on into the quarterfinals of Challengers Open, but they move on into the closed qualifier coming up next week. So if anything, both of these two teams, they want a spot ASAP to secure their spot in the closed qualifiers, to put them one step closer into Masters. And not only that, but BBG, yeah, they had their good performances. Yeah, they had BOR. You mentioned Sick. Sick top fragging the server if i'm not mistaken he had 26 kills on top of everyone at that point shazam still ended up going big at 22 kills for himself but man oh man this sentinels team although they ended up taking on a pretty big upset on their best map it's still not done they still have the momentum they still their mentality ready and on haven they have to lock things down they have to keep things defensively steady because bbg if i'm not mistaken for their first half i expect a little bit of an explosion of points yeah built by gamers historically will and rob Wiz. this is their map that they always always shine on will has always been so good at creating space on haven but on the flip side sick is just as good he is an animal on this map he's no longer on the bridge He's on the duelist. Phoenix is his name, and he is looking for some blood. Built by gamers. They we know they've got to go hard. We need Bior to step up again. Will and Rob Wiz had a lights out performance. But in, to compare, Bior seemed to be ahead above everybody. His killjoy utility was fantastic. And there were so many opportunities here on Haven. Now on the other side, we know Dapper to be aggressive. We've seen the plays he wanted to create. Is that the same thing here on Haven? They will be starting the attack sentinels. So everything goes. They need a fresh start. They need a good start. And the same thing for Built by Gamers. It's all about who can get the momentum early on. We've seen how momentum based they can be. When Built by Gamers are down in the dumps, a single round spun it around and brought themselves back into that game. Ladies and gentlemen, Haven, the three-sided map, the map where you will see a lot of individual plays. Some players, they have to play on their own. They have to become the heroes on their lonesome, but that's where the team play comes in, especially on defense. You need that teamwork. You need that communication to be completely on point. And we're going to see a whole lot of it from Sentinels. But early on for BBG, we've seen so many maps. We've seen so many games where on Haven, they decided simply in one half. Sentinels on the attack for frenzies. They love their frenzies. They're gonna try and get aggressive. Cage goes up. They've got early control, but built by gamers on a fast rotation. Foe needs to get a kill here. He can't go down without a fight, and he does. He gets at least a good chunk of damage off of Zoms. Recon Bolt to clear. Paranoia to take out the back site, and Sentinels have the site for the taking. Spike will go down, but the retake commences with this kill. 
Again, good start from Rob Wiz, but even then, look at that Molly from Will. That is huge. Bior still helping out. No, only two players remaining. Dapper taking one down like a clay pigeon. Critical up in the air, couldn't find any space. So instead, now with a spike not even down, Dapper is actually fighting this one out. Oh my, eyes are on sick. But even then, Dapper gets nothing out of it. Rob Wiz takes him down. Still a 1v2. Stick, sick with 86 HP, and it's slowly going down to the turret. That's a feels bad and a half. He still has the frenzy, and it's low on bullets. These players are essentially just waiting for him to peek out. BBG, they have him at the palm of their hands. But even then, the HP is still very low on each and every one of them. An alarm bot in front, too. That's where things can get a little bit more spicy, too. He can't make oh. his way in. But how does Rob Wiz even watch Rob no! the scenario? But no way! The wide swing and thick more than ready for it! The 1v2, the man, the myth, the legend, it is sick! Lines them both up. You said they were on low HP, but the second, that's pure reaction shots. Here's the replay, and we get a second look. Sick. It was a 1v3, essentially. This first shot is okay, we understand, but the second, it's nothing more than pure reaction. Six bullets, ten in total, and he only needed three. Sick comes up clutch for Sentinels. And my god, built by gamers, that was a gimme round in the 2v1. But they ended up dropping it. Sick picks up the Phantom and well-deserved as well. Bior to get aggressive, though. See if he can get anything. It's Shazam who struggles just a little bit to keep Dapper alive. He does end up going down. A one-for-one -one trade. And they exchange map control. But Sentinels, they assume all of A and built by gamers. A little bit of a stack towards B. Two players. Will ready for a swing. And then you've got Rob Wiz not too far off. But Sick was ready for the peak. Good heads up play by really both players from Sentinels opening things up throughout the map. Oh, and now BBG. Oh boy. <laughs> Shazam takes down Rob Wiz. One immediately takes up that same position. You have Foe now trying to help out, knowing that there's at least one over towards their spawn. But they actually completely evade it. Shazam, he can walk on by almost easy peasy without this wide swing that actually goes down, and uh, they have no info. BBG has zero info. The spike is going to go down on C, and only now that they realize it. Shazam has a big opportunity for a couple of frags. He's actually watching the crossover in mid. Going to be able to catch one with a little oh. bit of damage, but Critical gets the return frag back. Now it's a two on three. There's one in snipers, and that's a good swing from Sinatra. One last probably remaining. It's going to be Critical. Wouldn't be surprised if he actually saved this one up going into the next round. Yeah, this is just an awkward scenario. <laughs> Sentinels, it's almost impossible that they end up losing out this one, but they got to hold on for the exit frags more than anything. Yeah, a little bit of a costly round there for Sentinels, losing three players. Not a full bonus going into the next. They will have to make minimal reinvestments, but I doubt they're going to dig too deep into that wallet. Spectres here are there. Stingers are accommodated. Rapper picking up the Bulldog. And yep. Not too big of an investment. I think Psalm's the only one that really dug deep. 200 credits left over. Built by gamers on a save round because of the force. They have sheriffs. And this one again about damage. See how many guns they can pull away. Hurt sentinels where it matters most economically. And you could have a stronger buy going into the next. Sinatra with an early swing. Turret makes the contact. But nothing else to come. Sentinels playing careful and cautious. Whereas built by gamers putting a lot of pressure down towards mid. And even critical here in a critical position. I think spotting one out with the sheriff. But Zoms takes him out. It's hectic here for Sentinels. But they're dealing with the pressure very, very well. Oh, they sure are. BBG, they put a whole lot of bodies over towards that front line, but they get nothing out of it. So instead now, Sentinels, literally just in snipers, they collect on the players one by one as they peek on. And now Foe, with only 67 HP, is going to get taken down right through the wall, too, by Zoms. And Will tries to hold things back. That's flawless. Sentinels, they hold on to everything they got. Yeah, no stress whatsoever. Now here's their bonus. Sentinels starting to build up that economy. Perhaps a fast play. Sick does have the run it back, so he can look for a lot of info. Run it down garage, run it up long, whatever his team needs right now. Piggyback off of Paranoia. But built by gamers, the buyback. Rob Wiz has got the operator. He's sitting in the back of B, or apologies, the top. I think the pallet it is in the back of B. So Sentinels, 
They're going to give up info that they're not contesting mid. Now with Critical peeking down Garage as well into Grass. It's an Owl Drone. And it does look like... This is where Sick could use that run it back. A Paranoia to the right side of sight will be huge. And here comes the run it back. Paranoias go in and Sick caught full blind. They are going to be stuck for a little bit, but Sick is putting on pressure and Rob Wiz removes him. Still very much pivotal, but BBG, they have no control this side at all. And they have no ultis to use either. Oh. So instead now Sentinels, they can hold on to their positions, but what on earth? Sinatra actually wants to go up in front, and now BBG, they have a couple of frags back. Critical gets one. Still two over towards a long area, one on the front line. Shazam goes down. Still Zom's trying to help out, and I didn't expect this at all, but BBG, fully flawless. Sentinels, they had some pretty good spots for that post plant, but BBG, through brute force and a little bit of util, they make their way on, and they make it successful. Not only successful, but flawless. One to three. Yeah. It felt like for at least in the majority of their retakes, Sentinels had good post plant positions, but players got too aggressive. No support from the players that long. Dapper as well was was caught a little bit late because he had to watch the flank initially. So Sentinels, they tried to duel one VXs. I mean, you had you had a five on five going into it. You had good map control, good site control. All you needed to do there was back away, but they got a little bit too eager. Built by gamers, they punished them for that. They put themselves on the board. Critical and BR, one charge off of their ultimates. Early recon ball. That is a cheeky one to get info. And they're gonna get plenty of it, but Rob Wiz can't take the fight. Will will be pushed back. Does run it back will be canceled. And Sentinels, they take the space and they are looking for the A site. Two players revealed. And they are trying to clear it up. Built by gamers. These players might need to concede. If Rob Wiz can't get anything, it becomes a retake instantly. Rob Wiz does at least take down one though, but he needs a whole lot of help. There's one in heaven with a good angle too, but oh, okay. Rob Wiz just wants to fight this. Has the knife for a reason, but sick in a great position. Could be able to take down a second, but Will gets it back. 3v3. Now Sully has at least now BBG. They can take their time, but there's one actually spotted over towards mid. Ooh, Bior able to catch Dapper off. You mentioned catching him out towards mid. He was trying to play that lore. Cut the rotations off. Doesn't work out. They will get the plant down. Shock darts don't do anything, but a lockdown. He's going to use it. That's a huge investment by Bjorn in a 2v3, but it's one that's needed. A low HP for critical, but Shazam in the heavens. You're at a disadvantage, and you need to even things out. But he goes down. Zoms, they know where he is. Cornered like a rat. There are only so many positions he can be playing. And Smoke's dropped. Critical sees the barrel, but who wins the fight? Zoms dancing around, but he doesn't have a line of sight on the spike. And Foe pushing the issue. Zoms taken out and built by gamers with a second round on the board. Sentinels starting to crumble here early on in the attack, but it's only five rounds in. They do have credits to buy. The same thing with BBG as they look to build their own momentum. Yeah, that spike was in a little bit of a tight spot, almost a poor position even if they had checked that Bior was close to the lockdown or would even use it. I mean, that, uh, that of course requires a lot of foresight, but Sentinels, it's going to be small interactions like that that end up breaking apart their attack. They did have Dapper over towards mid, and if he wasn't spotted, I mean, that would have been massive. That would have opened up the entire round with a double kill over towards the B site. But oh instead God. now, this one's a classic. Critical, actually, with an early Hunter's Fury. Does get a little bit of damage, but no more than that. No kills in his favor, but Rob Wiz with a flick. Firing range for him again. It's like he's just in warm-up. Players are just walking into his crosshairs, and he gets himself a second flick. Could he make it a third? Flash is going to go out, but he's still waiting for the opportunity. Sick is going to end up getting the kill, and that's where discipline could come in, Sully. He did. <laughs> he did get a little bit ballsy with it. Maybe maybe a little bit too ball hoggy. Just wanted to get a couple of kills. But even then, Sentinels... Still has three players, BBG at the man advantage, and with a little bit of usage of util and an ulti early on, BBG is still vibing and waiting for Sentinel's next move. Double smoke down, I think that's actually from foe in the back, so that's interesting, but a Hunter Siri, nothing connecting there. Two players, and well, Sinatra does net himself one, struggling to get the frag, Bior will be punished by Sick with a quick look on up. Now it's Will. One versus three, and because it's his own hot hands, Sick can push on through, so Will. I don't know if he's going to be ready for the swing, looking the wrong way. They're going to meet in the smoke, and Sick gets four. Run it back, charged up, and Sentinels find themselves the fourth.
was built by gamers now. Around that should have been theirs, by all things considered, yeah. but they will be punished. Now, Rob Wiz, <laughs> what is the investments here? Because if he wants to go for the operator, he's going to be severely, severely broke. I mean, again, like I mentioned before, that this round for BBG, it was surely, surely in their control. I mean, this especially with is. the early frags from Rob Wiz, but... What can you do, right? <laughs> Sick. Yeah. So, so nuts. Triple at the end off of the plant, or at least off of the take for Sentinels. And not only that, but that Hunter's Fury ended up taking up so much space. BBG had read it out well, too. They had, if I'm not mistaken, two players at around that C area. So, Sentinels at this point. Man, oh man, they could just keep on running in. But that flash from Sick doesn't come out at the right time. And instead, now Sentinels, they're without one less ulti. But they do have some good damage, but a whole lot of time is getting chunked off the clock in a sense because now Critical is here to try to help out. Wide flash though. Critical goes down to Zoms and not only that, but there's one still low on HP and Snipers. That Neural Threat gets thrown out like a Frisbee and at this point, BBG is still fighting for Garage. 4v3, Sentinels come back with the advantage. Sinatra looking around, but they don't have garage control. You're 100% right. They've got nothing there, but Sinatra turns nothing into something with two. It's just Rob Wiz now in a 1v4. No chance he could pull this one off, I think. Maybe a couple of mm -hmm. exits if he's lucky, but this is a fifth guaranteed, I think, for Sentinels. No shot, right? Yeah, absolutely. Shazam takes him down. At best, he would have been able to pick up a rifle and potentially try to save that one out. But Sentinels, they maintain things very clean. Well, this BBG, I mean, really, they didn't have too much to actually work with in that last round. Going into this one, however, they have the rifles. And, well, not only that, but look at the A sight. They actually want to stack up three in that area. Yeah, they're looking for early control. I think Will is maybe going to try and contest this ult tower with a blaze wall going up. He can get it, get the run it back. And Rob Wiz, well, he loves this position. We saw what he did. 3k, easy peasy. See if he can get a little bit more. And Foe will even use a paranoia to ensure that Will doesn't get, I think, caught out here if they need to. If he feels contact, the paranoia will come out. But Will, he gets his ult online. The paranoia doesn't come in time. And Rob Wiz holding this angle, but he, all he needs is a pixel. He sees him, and he goes down 3v4. Sick already tagged up. Foe in the back lines. Cross. It is a lock down here as a dash what? goes in. And Rob Wiz from where? Two versus four off of an insane shot. And Sentinels are broken down as Bjork comes with a flank. Sick left in the clutch. But Rob Wiz oh, does wow. it again. Dude, that was point blank. That dash rent right into right into the site. And not only that, but Did right into the him. smoke. So Rob Wiz had almost no clue. And he did it blindly. I mean, two shots essentially back through cover. And we'll barely see it. You oh see God, the dash no in idea. and zero clue, right? He just saw the dash in. And I mean, he took a shot in the dark and he took it all the way to the bank. Now, ladies and gentlemen, BBG off of yet another big round from Rob Wiz. Well, they have a chance with an op in his hands. I think there's always a chance, really. Tear it up for the contact. Owl drone down towards C. They've got so much info here built by gamers. Critical sees nothing. Rob Wiz with a peak. They know the B hits coming. They've got no lockdown though. So Bior's in a tricky position, but again, his utility has been key. And there's a great flash. It catches everyone blind, but Will can't get anything off of it. Needs the hot hands now to delay as they start to march in garage, but critical. The Owl drone early on gave him all the info, all the play, and sick. Does get a trade, and Bior gunned down. They're getting risky here, built by gamers, and Sentinels under pressure. Stay calm, but Rob Wiz, what can he get here, Gus? Three players around the corner. It's Ooh. one. Can he get two? Dashes away. Tries to get some blades into him it's a 1v2 and critical's down to just one how did critical even get that kill beaming through the wall but shazam picks up the up from rob Wiz. and again i think that's just bogdan's law low hp you pick up and up it oh boy just works out in your hands bbg with a massive opportunity at the end of things and rob Wiz just missing out of the knives sentinels they survive once again just barely as well. I mean, these rounds, extremely, extremely close. Sentinels able to scrape on by again, built by gamers. Another awkward buy. Guardian, Bucky, Bulldog, anything they can bring and muster together in this crucial round. 
Owl drones go down. There are three players here, but neither Owl drone gets the info they wanted, and Shazam gets the head peek. Rob was down. Sick finds Bior towards middle. And Sinatra looking for a little more on the spray. Foe is so, so tagged. He's pushed on through. Tries to get something from it. Three shots could be enough, but Sinatra ensures the third won't connect. 2v5. And while Critical is able to muster one, Sinatra can do a lot of damage here. 2v3. Hunters to recharge. But again, Sentinels in a comfortable position with most sites already cleared out now. Yeah, it's just a guessing game at this point. There was a kill over towards mid, but Sentinels, they have been ones to be fairly lurky in a sense. They're not really satisfied with really one site being in their control. And once they clear out the back lane, that's even more info that they have for themselves. They're able to really branch out, and indeed they did. They're going to clear out the C site. There's one person in garage. And again, that's just poorly timed purely left. because they had someone in that garage area. So now Critical, he feels a little bit dumbfounded because now, Sino uh, now Sentinels they have themselves a little bit of space and the round is essentially theirs. 2v3 though, yeah. still a chance. Oh, Shazam already watching that angle. Will trying to lurk around. They already knew from the get-go that as soon as the trip was broken where the flank was coming, and you're right, built by gamers, no real chance in this one. Seven to three Sentinels. Dapper looking for an exit, it does get Will, so no guns, or at least not enough guns, I'd say, to suffice a, a decent round for built by gamers. Is Dapper still looking on the hunt. He knows his player's low, so the classic is his best bet. But yeah, Sentinels, easy seventh round. Like you said, they're never content with just one sight. They play it smart, they don't get caught off guard by a flank from Critical. And instead, Critical gets caught off guard by Sick. No gun saved and built by gamers. They are severely, severely punished. Now moving forward, this is just going to be the Rico moving into the last round of the half. They want all the guns possible to try and battle against Sentinels. Sentinels, with their credits, are starting to stack up on the on the arsenal. Odin for Sinatra and still the op for Shazam, which has been just as good, I'd say, as Rob was recently. Oh, surely so. I mean, Shazam was really the one that had utilized that operator to its full success, to its full potential off of that yeah. first map. And really only now are we seeing the op really oh. succeeding in BBG's hands. But wow, oh wow, okay. Sick. Going to be able to get an early kill over towards mid. BBG getting a little bit desperate. Even, again, that is speaking in a little bit of absolutes, but... It's almost a dumbfounding situation where BBG, they are looking for a couple of frags and really as early as possible and they're just getting caught off. Critical, however, with only 5 HP escaping that scenario, Sinatra goes down. Oh, Dapper missing the time on a Bior will. Mike, get caught out, but Dapper again missing out on the time. And maybe not this time around, two players, possibly a third lining them up, but will with the stinger from distance. Able to shut down Dapper. There's a Phantom that can be recovered. And this round is recoverable here. Lockdown available as well for Bior. And a 3v3. I think Sick will invest at least this run it back to try and force these players on out of here. But built by gamers. A super winnable round. So they are prepared to invest this ultimate. 30 seconds left. All hands ready. Lockdown down and Sentinels. They're going to be stuck in the site unless they can make a quick getaway. Already Nanostorm's going in to force players out of the cubby. This is a strong setup, and Rob Wiz as well, anticipating someone to run away. They've now got the man advantage. Okay, sick. Let's get one back onto Rob Wiz, but an even bigger shot over towards Long. Those make up some more space. Sentinels just trying to hold off as long as possible. Only one person remaining off this 1v2. And Bior. Barely escaping, still up in that corner, but ooh, ooh, that is nasty from Sick. What a flick, Bior thought he had a chance, but Sick puts him down. 19 kills for Sick, and we're barely through 11 rounds in this game. What on earth has popped off in the mind of Sick? He's had one a heck of a series. Like you said, I think the first map you mentioned like 26, 27 kills. And just to kick it off, he's he's well surpassed the halfway mark. And she's sick. All right, then. If you want to be that brutal, go ahead. Critical. 
Looking for something downrange with a Hunter Siri. It's the last round, so you gotta make these investments. But the same thing for Sentinels. So many ultimates and sick. Trying to add another to his tally. But it's Bior that barely escapes him with 16 HP. Will is getting a lot of info. Shazam ready for his run. In fact, so they no longer have control. Will could have had it, but Shazam sits back. And now BBG have to adjust. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's so awkward. And the spike now. Hey, a small, a, a small spam, and there you go. As humorous as it is, that is very much an important scenario now for BBG. They have clear control, but oh wow, Sinatra! Gotta be joking me with that Hunter's Fury. Still tracking down his his opponent through the wall, and again, just well placed in general. Spike is still very much in the control of BBG, however, with one person right in the smoke. Mm -hmm. And critical. He actually wants to take up full advantage up close. Still with the spark in. The recon bolt going off. Shazam doesn't actually want to go for the wide swing. 25 seconds left, and ooh, Zoms gets the kill onto critical. Now it's just down to foe. Shazam in there. He just backs on out. He said <gasps> better head out, but Foe takes him down. Now Foe waiting up for the cross up. Still a teleport. Time? Eight seconds, seven seconds, six. He has it. Zoms the teleport with the buzzer beater to say the least. Almost literally from downtown. And now Foe, he's already, already rotated. Zoms does not hear a singular thing. Foe is in. Zoms is out. Both of these omens down to just about 80 HP. Foe is just trying to take up as much control of sight as possible to really restrict this down to one or two spots. Either it's short or it's heaven. But little does he know is that Zoms is ready and waiting for him already. The spike is planted for him. Foe hasn't found anything. The, sp the spike is ticking. And just like that, that's it. What a fight from Zoms. The fragging garage, the spike control, and somehow BBG, the closest opportunity that they've had in a long time for a round, all just dissipates in the palm of their hands. 500 IQ from Zoms to commit to the TP. I got so scared he would have had no time at whatsoever. My god, so many sick plays from Sick, and Zoms with that last one is just the cherry on top. Sick is having one heck of a performance. Again, 19-5 and five at the half. He's looking to surpass the 25 or 26 kill mark he had on Ascent. The dude is popping off. Sentinels look unstoppable here on Haven. And now on the defense. They're just as good at the defense as they are on the attack. If you thought their attack was good with a 58% win rate overall, they've got a 57% here on the defensive side. So Sentinels are looking good. They are looking dominant. And it's going to be a difficult one here for Built by Gamers. But again, the game is never done. Six round gap. It can be recovered, but that life cannot. Critical down early as BBG start to split into Garage to the C site. But they're stopped in their tracks. Ooh, Dapper. Let's get one back up to Will. But Bjorn flying in. And no oh. way. He still keeps fighting with three HP. Sees an opportunity, he tries to snag it out, but oh, that's sick. So barely enough time for it, and sick just keeps holding W, doesn't he? He doesn't stop fragging. He sees a pixel, he aims at it. It's as easy as that, right? No matter what HP this man is at. Sentinels, they win out the more than important, the critical pistol round is now BBG. They find themselves up against the ropes with only three rounds separating Sentinels and a path into the quarterfinals. This is such a tricky position to be in now if you are built by gamers. I mean, you have to full buy here. It's it's such it's a risk, it's a gamble, but they've been so good on second round conversions. And this needs to be one of those rounds. They need to be sharp. They need to be as good as ever. Shazam. Early damage done. Shock darts out as well. And there's already a push as well from Sinatra. He's getting on such a fast flank. There's no Killjoy turret. There's no alarm bot. There's nothing. They've got no idea. Sick is right behind him. Sinatra with a free frag and Shazam in the back sight. He will be revealed, but Zoms is there to support. It is a massacre. And the flank still, it's keeping back Bior who has the spike. How do you go about this if you're built by gamers? You surely can't. Sick around the corner. Sinatra with the frag. It's a two versus two. And wow, critical. He's all the way on the flank already. He's back. He's doubled back. And Will in a 1v1. Somehow Sentinels Whoa. have let this slip. 
Oh, Sentinels let it slip, but they don't let go at all. Who else, right? It had to be sick at the end of things. 7 HP. And again, you gotta feel bad for BBG. No matter how close they're getting in these rounds, it always seems like Sentinels has some sort of ace in the hole, has some sort of frag back, a chance back. And it just so happens to be that the name of that chance, the savior for the Sentinels team in terms of absolute dominance is not other than sick. Yeah. Dude, 24 frags. I mean, he had 26. He went 26 and 18 on a cent. He is, he should be able to surpass this pretty easily. I'd imagine Sentinels. Let's see what a sick can get off of this. Zom's clean, clean shot onto Rob Wiz and Sinatra. Doing Sinatra things. He's on a fast flank. He's looking for information. He's got a free frag. He's got a second, not the third. Bior. Just enough time to adjust, but not enough time to be ready for Zom's. This is a 12th and critical in a 1v4. It's doom and gloom for Built by Gamers as Sentinels stampede their way here on Haven. And all it's going to take. One more frag in one more round to find themselves a spot in the top eight or the quarterfinals. And Valorant Champions Tour open qualifiers number one. And there he goes. Critical down in Sentinels at 12. It's called Challengers for a reason. BBG very much the challenger, very much the underdog coming into this game. Sentinels, they seemed mortal coming into this tournament. Coming into this game in general. Dropping a map to Serenity on their best map, on the map that they were known for. They end up making it back. Then against BBG, I mean, especially here on Haven, they stomp them out. 12 to three still, there's still a chance somehow for BBG. But Sentinels, they're shutting down the challengers and they're coming up, they're rising up to the challenge and they're making this theirs. BBG, they are starting things off hot though, as Rob Wiz and Will both collect some massive frags on their own. Sick push down long though, and there's a at least a reaggression from Sinatra, but he's got no idea what's awaiting for him. He's been quiet all game long. Well, here's your chance. Here's the peak. There's the jiggle, but he doesn't take the bait. Rob Wiz! They're going down! Whoa! It's Sinatra! Out of nowhere! It's nothing into something! The king of Valorant and Sinatra's got another pupil. Four kills, and just like that, the series is done. Sinatra goes up huge and Sentinels are through to the quarterfinals. Not only the quarterfinals, but the closed qualifier here for challengers. Congratulations, Sentinels. My God, what a way to close it out. Sinatra, I'm, I'm Jaw is, is, is on the floor right now, Sinatra. I literally said that. He's got no idea what's coming. And then he pulls that off. Sinatra, that had to be the play of that game. I'm gonna be honest, that was insane. Play of the game, play of the day, who knows? I mean, maybe the stakes were a little bit lower, maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I don't yeah. know at this point. We've seen a couple of insane plays. I think one play just happened, uh, I think, off stream too, where Wardell, remember the remember the judge that we actually had for yeah. Mina? Yeah, no, Wardell one. got oh. another one off of it. He actually got an ace off the judge, one clip. Okay. But it is what it is, right? We do have the boys of Sentinels moving on into the quarterfinals in amazing fashion. And again, coming into this one, we try to really convey the fact that BBG were some true fighters coming into this game. I mean, they just took down Space yeah. Station Gaming and other team that would have put up a huge fight against the Sentinels roster. But in the end, Sentinels, they've come back to form. Yeah, I mean, this entire day has been, I feel like, uh, a weird setup where top teams in north america were vulnerable right you mentioned serenity showing that there were there were cracks in the armor of, of sentinels and we saw that here especially on map number one definitely maybe not on map number two i mean haven was just sentinels all day long but throughout this entire uh, qualifier we've seen tier one teams fall obviously 100 thieves taken down by carpe knocked them just recently t1 falling to anbox our three confirmed teams so far in the quarterfinals are gen g anbox and obviously here sentinels so we've got five more teams waiting but what a day it's been gus so much talent presented our first best of three with complexity and equinox that was a banger equinox looks so good and sentinels we had our doubts we had our thoughts they proved us wrong here and a quick 2-0 sweep
I mean, what a day, right? I mean, we still had what would be banger games here on stream. And again, it's called an open qualifier for a reason. We want to showcase as much talent as possible. And we got a great variety of it spanning between both tier one and tier two. And again, Equinox, a team that to me had a huge chance to really, really open some eyes coming into this tournament, still taking up their first game a little bit earlier. If I'm not mistaken, they're still playing their set as we yeah. speak, or might be even be finishing it up. But now here for Sentinels, we see a return of what is now the players, the team, trying to regain the crown that they ended up losing back at first strike. Because man, oh man, there was, I, I think Valorant I, in general, they've been hyping up 100 Thieves as these kings. How yeah. heavy is the crown? And I think for now, Sentinels, they might actually be ready to take on that crown and fully become the kings of Valorant. But we are a long way away from it. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys are watching the Valorant Challengers. It is only the first edition of it. There's still two more opportunities for 100 Thieves and all the Tier 1 teams that ended up going down or even the Tier 2s that might have a little bit of opportunities. But ladies and gentlemen, our broadcast just is not over. We have to look out for what is the best play of the day. It is Mike and Ike's sweet play of the broadcast. Ooh, a great way to close out is, I mean, this, this play in particular, it's the 4K <laughs> with a, I think, I think it was a judge, not a Bucky from Mina on a set. The judge, yes. This was insane. I mean, it was, all right, this, this the first play is nuts, right? Then one shot for three kills, Gus. Sheesh. Right, I, I, like, Okay, well, you, all right, all right, all right. Um, yeah, Griffin, it, you're going a little overboard right it, now, it, but Griffin, yeah, please. <laughs> <laughs> my, my eyes, I, I'm having a seizure right now. Yeah, but no, Mina, I mean, I think that that play kind of encapsulates the entire day. Some insane stuff, some insane performances, and well, Mina, you, you top it off. It was a sweet day and a sweet play for Mina and Equinox. We saw them have a great success in that game as well, so congratulations, Mina. What a great day overall, though. What a great day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching here on the Nerd Street Gamers broadcast or the Valorant broadcast or the Valorant Esports North America broadcast. It's been a fun one, but before we go, you guys already saw what I was repping a little bit earlier. <laughs> of course, we have to thank our broadcast partner or our partner for this Challenger series. It is none other than HyperX. Folks, you guys want something comfortable. Again, I can personally vouch for it. Legendary comfort goes wireless too with the HyperX Cloud 2 Wireless built to be on an ultra comfortable gaming headset with amazing sound. It's no wonder that it's become the preferred gaming headset for millions of gamers, including myself. I love my wireless HyperX headset. I use it every time that I game and ladies and gentlemen, you guys should too. Thank you so much to HyperX for supporting NSG and the Valorant Challengers. But for now we are out of here. Tomorrow we have quarterfinals action here for Valorant Challengers number one. But for now, my name is Upmind. You can follow me on Twitter at Upmind underscore. You can follow my boy Sully here at SullyCast. And for now, we're out of here. We'll see you guys tomorrow.